this is for a couple of the experimenters on Energetics Forum uh, that are working on trying to replicate PSAC or get a better understanding on the uh, SEC exciter itself. What I have here is an 18. This is an L3. And across the power rail, instead of a resistor in this case, what I have is a 10 microhenry choke. And I'm only feeding off of this L3. I'm feeding the ground rail side of that choke. So we basically have this choke directly across the plus and the minus rail. Now one would think that in essence what that's going to do is short the DC out, but that's not the concern at this point. Here I have a small piece of aluminum which is connected back to my signal generator and I'm feeding the aluminum uh, with a single lead and it's capacitively coupled to this L3. Here's an AV plug, so the opposite end of this L3 is going into the AV plug and of course we have this little red lead hung on the AV plug right here and you can see the intensity of it and before I go too much farther here let's look at the intensity of the output. You can see that the input is far less than what the output is. But the whole focus of this thing is, I want to get my tuning wand up here, is that in order to ensure that your exciter is working, I know there seems to be some confusion out there that you can tune the exciter itself and it doesn't seem to have any effect on the output. So what I want to do is go ahead and get my little tuning stick up here. And I want you to watch the output as I tune it. Do you see this? Okay, and watch the input. Do you see this? Now you have to ask the question of why. Why are we affecting the input as well as the output? And the reason is that we have feedback from the output back into the input with the excitation from the signal generator. Now this will ensure that you actually have the exciter running because I know it's quite confusing for people to try with a scope or a, a spectrum analyzer or whatever and ensure that this thing is actually operating although you can see that by the spectral emissions from it but when you tune that and nothing happens then I would uh, be fairly safe in telling you that no it's not running but when you can tune it even though you may not see much intensity at all coming out of this lead that's on the protection side, you can be ensured that there is tuning going on and it's affecting the overall circuit. Another way would be to just go up here and pop the transistor out of the circuit. And lo and behold, by taking the transistor out of the circuit, look at our input lead okay and look at our output lead let me go ahead and back off here and try to hold this camera steady and I'm going to plug this transistor back in so that uh, I should have turned a, a bigger light on I can tell you that right now okay so here's our output again and look at our input again and you see that this particular input off of this small coupling from this aluminum block single leaded from the signal generator is going across this 10 microhenry choke on the power rail and then we've got this AV plug configuration sitting on this aluminum heat sink I do have a scope coupled to it which is kind of meaningless at this point and of course I'm looking at my spectrum but uh, this is some of the ways you can tell if you, you actually have this exciter operating or not because it is conceivable that you can drive the input high enough that it will just couple through the capacities on the board and, and appear as an output. So you want to ensure that you have that exciter actually 
in operation.